Okay, guys. Um, so this is going to be the last one for tonight. Um, basically, uh, this is an example that we did really, really early on, and uh, this this example isn't even using stop motion keys. But what I want to show to you is like there's nothing stopping you from using other parts of Blender, like say for example, like grease pencil, and then doing your rough animation in that or doing your rough animation with curves, you know, on a, and just call that object like rough animation, um, and then doing a cleanup over the top. And the thing that I want to point out with this animation is like, uh, this isn't even using the stop motion um, objects yet at the moment. So all this animation is doing is it's just a basic shape animation. And all it's using is the anim, the anim all keyframes. Uh, so if we take a look here, we can see these are the Bezier curve point handles. And you can just see it just goes on and on and on and on and on forever and ever. Um, and even though it looks like it's a lot of information, it's actually not that hard to deal with it um, because you're not really when you're dealing with something at this level, you're more so dealing with just the shape and the way that it's tweening. Um, and so like in this example, we're just using it with the mouth and because mouth is so snappy and pretty fast, um, you know, um, we just get a little bit of tweening action in, in between there. I just also want to point out that this, this is using cycles at the moment, like cycles render engine and it's using the CPU, it's not using the GPU. And that's partly because like what I was saying before, um, if we just select this object and we take a look at our node tree, we can see it's like, it's really simple. You know, or it's actually not that simple. Um, we're using a mix shader and we're basically creating a mask here. Um, so yeah, it's, it's actually, it's, it's impressive, right, that Blender is actually running in real time on CPU because instead of plugging in a shader, we're just plugging in basically, uh, you know, the RGB value and that's all it has to read. So it enables us to read things a lot faster. Um, also, in this example, if we come back here, um, if we scrub through the animation, you'll notice the outline around the around the object and the shape. And if we follow that, if we look at his mouth and we follow that, even say for example, around the eyes as well. And basically all that is, is if we take a look at one of these eyes, uh, oh no, I think this one is actually just a duplicated object, yeah. But um, if we take a look at our mouth object, which is a bit bigger. Yeah, so our stroke is actually reading the mouth shape. So basically the curve modifier, this modifier here, the curve modifier <coughs> is actually taking the stroke and it's wrapping itself around the object. And basically all you have to do is just keyframe the x-axis of that to make sure that the top lip is always staying on top. And it's super fast to animate that way. So we get this nice, you know, Disney-esque kind of Ren and Stimpy kind of look. Um, and then it's the same thing here with the ear. It's the same principle here. Like when we select that stroke, we're actually telling it to read the object. The trick there is basically, you wanna have the stroke parented to the ear shape. And then from there, you want to have both their origin points at exactly the same spot. And then all you're doing is you're just shifting. Um, and then because the stroke is at the same point as the origin, it just basically jumps out to the edge of the ear and you can control it really, really simply. I'll, I'll create a, another example of that um, in the next video just so people can see how it works. But this is kind of a more, this is this is a tame example of um, getting 
an animated character moving using the stop motion tools and blender um, but we're not actually even using the stop motion uh, tools in this particular animation at the moment even though we could so we'll build out another character in the next one just so people can start to see how it actually works uh, so i'll just end this one here okay thanks guys